This is Xavier from Navy Recognition, reporting from DSCI 2014 in London, UK. We are now on the exhibit of US-based company Cibotix with Sean Newsom, Global Business Development Manager at Cibotix, who will introduce a few of his products on show here at DSCI 2014. So Sean, can you show us your products, please? Yes, absolutely. So primarily we make one to two man portable, tethered underwater remotely operated vehicles, or ROVs. These are two prime systems, starting with our LBV 300-5. This is a traditional remotely operated vehicle. This would be tethered to a control console, which you can see behind me. We'll put sensors on here, cameras, depth, heading, imaging sonars for seeing and zero visibility. Uh, and we fly like a traditional, or think about flying like a helicopter underwater. When they want to, they can attach this crawler skid. The crawler skid bolts on quickly, uh, one wet mateable connector. On the bottom of the crawler skid is what's called a vortex generator. This, when activated, creates a low pressure zone in water. So the operator can fly up to a ship, rotate the vehicle, and attach with 28 kilograms of attractive force. By doing that, they can operate in up to five knots of current, or sometimes over. Um, there's no relative motion between the sensors, so they're getting impeccable data. What they're seeing uh, when they're controlling the system with our hand controller is video, sonar, they have a tracking system with a GPS reference to where they are and the location of the vehicle, and this some vehicle st statistics at the same time. Popular for mine countermeasures is our vectored little benthic vehicle. This has a vectored configuration of four thrusters, giving us a lot of power in all axis of flight, dual vertical thrusters for up and down motion. We can also add a tracked version of our crawler skid assembly to this one. A number of manipulators, which will go on either system, and again, cameras, lighting, imaging, sonars. This is, these two systems are uh, the primary systems used by U.S. Navy EOD teams. Here we have what we call our containerized delivery system. This is a one to two man operable remotely operated vehicle that's rated for up to 4,000 meters, which covers about 80% of the Earth's oceans. You have a control room where an operator is operating the remotely operated vehicle itself. You have a winch room with up to 4,250 meters of umbilical. A boom, which lowers the system over the side of the ship so you don't have to have one of those large A-frames uh, and you can use a much smaller ship. Then you have what's called a tether management system. This is lowered to the bottom and then the remotely operated vehicle flies from there. The tether management system operates basically as a gigantic weight to fight the current against the 4,000 meters of umbilical that's passing through the seafloor. The ROV only sees its little tether from the tether management system, so it operates just as it would at 30 meters on the surface. Very unique system, single point pick and place can be mobilized in a single day. Uh, one of the ideas here is that you can go down and do simple observation in a very short period of time, rather than mobilizing a very large remotely operated vehicle which may uh, require many more people, additional containers and support equipment, and larger vessels. So a very economical way to observe a vast majority of the Earth's oceans. Sean, thank you so much for your time and explanations. Oh, absolutely. Thank you so much for taking the time to visit us. Thanks. This was Xavier from Navy Recognition reporting from DSCI 2013.